This course is about form modeling. And notice, on our toolbar, we have a tabs named as Solid, Surface, Sheet Metal, and the Tools. To access form tools, all we need to do is head up to our toolbar and select Create Form. Let's begin by creating the head of this character. For the head, instead of utilizing a sphere, we're going to use the quad ball. So selecting quad ball, prompted to select a plane or planar face, I'm going to select our XZ plane. Next, we are prompted to specify the center point. And with our origin placed at the center of this character's head, I'm going to left click on our origin, pull this arrow to the right, making the diameter of the squad ball the same with the character's head. I'm okay with this value. And for the parameters of our quad ball, I'm going to have a two for its span of faces. For symmetry, let's have this to none for now and operation to be new body. Selecting OK. If we have a vertical line here at the middle, the left and right of this squad ball is symmetrical with respect to this vertical line. With that, we're going to add a symmetry on the squad ball. To do that, let's head up and select under symmetry, selecting mirror internal. Prompted to select faces, I'm going to select this face and this face. So notice, it created a green vertical line which serves as the symmetry line between these two faces. Let's now select OK. Before we grab an edge, a vertex, or a face, I'm going to make sure under Select, Window Selection is enabled, and we are in Front View. I'm going to hover over this area Create a window selection, release. Notice we have a selected this edge, heading back to front view. And because we applied a symmetry on the squad ball, the edge on the left was selected. Let's move this edge to conform with the character's head, with this edge selected, I'm going to head over to Modify and select Edit Form. Notice we have the Edit Form Manipulator. With the single axis arrow manipulator selected, I'm going to pull this slightly to the right. So notice the effect of a symmetry I'm okay with this position. Next, let's create another selection. This time, the top edge. To deselect, it's simply left clicking anywhere on the blank canvas. Once more, making sure window selection is enabled. Let me zoom in, create a window selection to select that top edge, and I'm going to pull our single axis arrow manipulator down. Let's create another selection, selecting this edge, and this time grabbing the planar direction corner manipulator. Next, let's select this edge, pulling this arrow up. And lastly, selecting this edge, grabbing our planar manipulator. 
And finally, let's select this edge. Pulling this arrow to the right. And left click anywhere outside on the black canvas to deselect. Let's inspect our form. And heading over to top view, instead of adding a horizontal symmetry, let me select this top edge, pull this down, select this edge, grab our planar manipulator, same also with this edge, pulling this up, grabbing this edge as well, and finally selecting OK. Heading over to front view and let's inspect the head. Heading over to home view. Join me in the next lesson as we form the body.